This is Tracy Adrian, and I'm going to do a video on how to use Mail Merge. One of the most frequently asked questions I get is, how do I use Mail Merge? How do I make mailing li labels? And, or how do I personalize awards for awards night? The first thing that you do with Mail Merge is to begin your list. This is the list I'll use for our mail merge example. Make a spreadsheet in Excel to include the information that you want on your letter, your award, or your label. Make sure that you use column headings like first name, last name, address. Make sure that you separate out those instead of just name separate out first name, last name. Instead of address and including the city and state, separate all those out. Once you get your list made, save and close it so that we can use it on our document. Okay. Next. Next you'll want to create your document. In this example, I have a certificate that I'm going to use to merge in those student names that we saw before. I used an award template and just left the place blank where I wanted the student names. Now we're going to start and use mailings. Right now I have the ribbon hidden. It normally looks like this. Under mailings, going to go to start mail merge and I'll use the step-by-step -step mail merge wizard once you've used mail merge before you can skip the wizard and use the steps that are shown here so in our wizard step one wants us to select the document type we're going to use letters. As you can see, there's also some other choices. Those who've asked me about labels, this is where you would choose labels instead of a letter. You can also do this for envelopes. And letter doesn't necessarily mean just a form letter. As you see, we're work, working on a certificate here. After I've chosen that, it's going to ask, what do I want to do with my letter? Well, I'm going to use this current document that I've created earlier. Next, I'm going to select the recipients. I'm going to go find that list that I saved and closed earlier. This window often confuses people. When you create a sp uh, spreadsheet, it's actually created in a workbook, and there are by default three sheets in there. When we made our list, we only used the first sheet, so we're going to highlight that one and hit OK. That brings up the list that we created. At this point, you can sort it, filter it. We're just going to leave it because that's the list that we wanted to use. In next step, we've already selected who we're going to use on our list, and we're going to write our letter in their terminology. Well, I've already created my letter over here, but I need to add a place for those names to go. We have some options over here, address block, greeting line, electronic postage. We're going to use more items. First, I'm going to click where I want my information to go. And in the more items, that will give me those column heads that we had in the list. I'm going to insert first name and I'm going to insert the last name. That's what I want to go there on my certificate. And then I'll close. At this point I have an opportunity to go and format that. And I'm going to put a space in between those. Okay. After I have those inserted and formatted, the next step they give is for us to preview. 
Well, if we can click through these arrows, we can preview what our certificates will look like. Next, we'll complete the merge. You get two choices here. You can print straight from this document, or you can go to Edit Individual Letters. Editing Individual Letters will bring up a completely new Word document that has a page for each record in your spreadsheet. And that is all that there is to merging with a list and a document.